Welcome to MUTV. Today we have two of the best known football pundits on the planet. Mark Lawrenson, Alan Hansen. Thanks, Thanks very much. Welcome to you both. Welcome. Obviously best known for whinging about football continually. Well, you know, I don't know about that, Darren. You know, we did actually play the game as well, don't you did, forget. You did play the game? Of course. Well, that's in the 80s. Liverpool, are they still going, Liverpool? Well, of course they're still... Is he taking the mickey? Of I think you may be. I might take umbrage at that call. Well, festive greetings to you both anyway. We're nearly up to uh, Christmas. What are you buying each other? I mean, I'm assuming maybe a, a pair of razors would be a good start. Obviously, a reference to the immense amount of facial hair we both got. For me, football tie. Find the shop, find the tie, buy the tie. No hesitation, wear it with pride. Ties, he said. He said he likes ties, you right. know. He likes to look nice and, nice and smart. Yeah, and, and yourself, Mark? Well, of course, I, I always I buy my friends the same gift every year, you know. Commentators, people involved in and around the game, Darren, they're always saying uh, what a lovely thing hindsight is. So I bought everyone a nice box of hindsight, which, which I what I got Alan last year as well. So I got some left. So. If I'd have had the hindsight before he bought me the hindsight, he wouldn't have had to buy me so much because I'd have known I've had so much left over. And, of course, the only trouble if you buy people hindsight for Christmas, there's no point in wrapping it, you know, cos they know, don't they? Not you know, as good so. as it was in the 80s, oh, though. Well, right. well, bringing you back to the 80s, actually, why are you continually going on? Oh, you're bringing us back on? to the 80s, super. What time Fabulous. are we going? This is, this is my point. I mean, you're both continually going on about the 80s. Do you not think you should bring things back up to date a little bit now? No point, cos they will never be what they were in the 80s. Well, That's maybe right. Liverpool won't, but... Uh, you know, the, the rest of football is moving Oh, ahead. no, no, football's as good as it was in the 80s, you know. That's why we try and keep ourselves there, don't Do we, Do you not think a lot, of the, a lot of the new viewers, though, would uh, would not recognise the 80s? A lot of people didn't live through the 80s now. We should be bringing this up today. Absolutely. If they weren't there, you won't deserve a mention. Stay in the 80s, it's the place to be. Didn't live in the 80s, oh. You know, I went to Egypt once in the 80s when we won the European Cup, and uh, it's funny, even though I never actually went swimming, everyone kept saying... Mark Lawrenson's in denial, and I don't know what they meant because I didn't even go swimming in the Nile. There's so plenty of action as well. There, I'm going to quickly, action, uh, uh, gentlemen. Yes, yeah, lovely. I'm going to quickly draw this back now. Uh, we, we're going to go for. Uh, we, we had a viewer's uh, question in actually, and, and I just thought I'd put it to you. Like for the Boxing Day game, you know, when uh, all the teams play on Boxing Day, we were wondering whether instead of the kits, we should maybe dress all the players up, maybe a Santa outfit, maybe a, a red one and a blue one with a little Santa hats on as, like, as a festive gesture. Oh, what are your I thoughts mean, about that? Thank God. When you mentioned Boxing Day, I got worried then because you won't catch me in the ring. No, no, sir. It's not but... certainly what I've heard, but uh, no, fabulous idea. You know why? It's what we did in the 80s. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen, and uh, thank you both.